Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Pipedrive with MailChimp. First of all, we have to create ourselves an account at uh, pipedrive.com and we want to uh, go straight to our workspace at Pipedrive. Uh, once we are here, we want to go to the top right corner and we want to click on uh, the icon where our avatar should be. Uh, and once we do that, we want to go to the tools and integrations. Now uh, you can see a couple of integrations that are already here for us. And it's MailChimp, Slack, Microsoft Teams, Asana and invoicing. As you can see, you can click straight to MailChimp and click on connect now. Uh, the other way around, it's through automate.io. Uh, I will leave the link in the description underneath this video. As you can see, once we are at automate.io, we can go to the top corner of our screen and click on integrations. Once we do that, we want to go to the bottom left and see all categories. Now we can search from 200 and more apps. Uh, so we want to start with uh, pipe drive. <clears throat> uh, yeah, pipe drive is already integrated and let's uh, go with MailChimp. MailChimp is right here, but you can also use the search engine. <clears throat> now, as you can see, there's a couple of integration already pre-made for us, some popular integrations. But if you won't be able to find the one for you, you can just scroll down and you can create your own integration. Just remember, underneath the triggers, uh, there uh, has to be pipe drive first on the left side. So let's go with the first one just to show you how it's done and on the right side as integrated uh, app there should be uh, MailChimp but also let's go with the first one now the last thing we have to do is just to try it now and uh, we can proceed to uh, signing in to automate.io and we are a couple of clicks away from making this integration happen Another app that is very useful uh, for this type of project is the Zapier.com. Uh, once we create an account here, we want to go to the top left corner and we want to make a Zap. As you can see, you can name your Zap or you don't have to, it's completely up to you. Uh, but let's go straight uh, to this integration. The app event uh, starts the same way I could start at automate with uh, pipe drive. We click on pipe drive. We choose an event. Let's go with the first one. We hit continue. Now we have to uh, search for the account. Let's go with the one that I uh, created just for this reason. Continue. And now we can test our trigger. The second action is also the same as it is at uh, automate.io. So it's MailChimp. We click on MailChimp. Once again, uh, we have to pick uh, the action event. We hit continue. And the last thing is just to sign in to the MailChimp and we are basically done. So yeah, thanks for watching and see you on the next video.